Hey, good morning, guys. How was the weekend? Good, good. Um, how's work? Pretty good. So you're working? I can I have you in my office in a couple of minutes, please? Sure. Uh, can you please give me like five to ten minutes because I'm working on a project now, and then I'll I'll be able to come to your office. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to see you right away. So at this point, don't worry about that. And uh, in fact, I don't think it's gonna matter anyway. Okay, I'll be there. I don't know man, doesn't sound good at all. The company's not been doing well for the past couple of weeks and he and he Ali's not been meeting his deadlines. I don't know man, but he's been working so hard and so are we. It just doesn't sound good. I don't know man. We could be next, you know. We gotta start looking for a job. Yeah. No Mike, this is not looking too well. Two more dollars in our stock and uh, we're losing contracts in a few weeks if this goes on like this, it's not gonna look too good. Our company is not doing too well now. Cutting costs down, of course we're going to have to cut costs down. I mean, if we go like this, we're not going to survive. Please pull the Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, let's talk later, and please keep me updated, okay? Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. Good night. Hey, Ali. How are you? Pretty good. How's how you? Good. Uh, well, actually, not too well, because uh, our company just lost two more dollars. No way. Yeah, and it's from the newspaper, the stocks are not doing well, it's going down, and um, we've been losing contracts. So it's... That's bad. It is very bad. Um, <coughs> but we'll talk about that later. That's not the reason I brought you. Do you have any today. specific plan for it? Uh, we might have some plans. First thing, probably cutting costs down. How are we going to cut the cost down? We're still discussing this, so we'll, we'll, we'll go further on that. But let's talk about okay. the reason I brought you here to my office today. Um, Unfortunately, we've been hearing bad news from your performance. Um, My performance? Yes. Unfortunately, we're coming late and they're not coming on time. We're not be meeting deadlines. And so I've been staying late. Uh, right, but let me just finish what I'm saying. Okay, um, unfortunately, uh, it's a very sensitive time. I know you've been working hard throughout the years, and, uh, but um, you've not been coming on time. I know you have your own reasons. and. Um, it's a very sensitive time for a company. We cannot afford poor, cannot afford poor performance. And um, also, I heard you mean my performance is poor. Uh, yes, compared to other people. In the yeah, company? lately your performance has been poor, and not, all, not only that, your colleagues have been complaining about your attitude. Um, you come. I you can't believe that. Unfortunately, pretty much is the attitude we're talking about here. Your attitude with your colleague is not going too well. Um, they're not very happy with you. You isolate yourself in a cube and. Uh, um, these are not the kind of things we're expecting here in this company. We want a friendly atmosphere, we want a cooperative um, experience, interac inter interaction among colleagues, and um, you're completely doing something the opposite of this. Um, so another thing I want to talk about is your accent. I don't like your accent, and even your colleagues don't like it. I have a thick accent, and unfortunately, uh, I have an accent too, but um, unfortunately colleagues have been complaining about not understanding you. They have to keep asking for repetitions, and uh, um, you know we don't want miscommunication in our work. It's a very sensitive time in our company, and all these factors are unfortunately leading to my conclusion that uh, I have to let you go. I don't understand what they're talking about. Well, what what I part don't about it. this? You what don't do you understand? Mean, what do you I mean your accent? What do you mean your communication skill? I don't get it. Well, the. And the problem is, you're not making things clear through your communication. So based on what you're saying, is like I'm going to be the scapegoat then. Well, you're not a scapegoat, so you don't want to blame on being a I'm scapegoat. Gonna, I'm going to be the victim then. No, you're not a victim. You're pretty much you're not performing well. You have a bad attitude. Your communication skills are poor. And, uh, so I'm the only one that has a bad attitude? Uh, yes, unfortunately. I'm, 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 I'm very unfortunate to tell you this, but yes, you have a bad attitude. And because of the reason that you said that you have to let me go? Yes. And uh, so what I'm going to do is um, get, get your time card. Uh, I got your network card invalidated. So we have from now until a couple hours. Please go and um, just pick up your stuff and wrap it up. It's not fair. Sorry to come to this conclusion, but um, I'm, I'm afraid that's going to be it's the not way. It's fair. <clears throat> okay. Um, is there anything else you want to talk about? You want to do you want to do anything else you have to turn in or? I don't know. You are the boss. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to end it up here.
Based on what you said, I'm going to be the scapegoat here. And my understanding is you're just trying to bring excuses. And I don't know, you, you know I've been doing well throughout the year. And I don't see any reason, you know, what you're mentioning is just something, you know, it's not fair to me. I'm going to be the victim. So I'm going to let my lawyer and come and talk to you. And I'm not going to talk to you anymore. I'm going to see you in the court. Well, no, we'll see you in the court. We'll see each other.